Hello students, this is Mr. Suresh Shetty here and I am here to teach you this most important and wonderful chapter of chemistry called as Ionic Equilibrium. And in the very first module, the topic that we are going to learn here is electrolyte and non-electrolyte. That's what we're going to cover in the very first module, electrolytes and non-electrolytes. Let's have a look at that. Now, the name of the chapter, as I mentioned, is ionic equilibrium. Two words over there. The very first one is ionic and the second one is equilibrium. Now, when I say ionic, we all know that this ionic word is associated with ions. And ions is something that we've been learning since class 8th or class 9th, right? Ions can be positively charged or they can be negatively charged, right? Cations and anions. Now, the very second word we can see in the name of the chapter is equilibrium. Now, that is something that we already studied in the previous chapter called chemical equilibrium, right? So, what is equilibrium? Equilibrium is nothing but a state at which certain measurable properties such as pressure, density, color, concentration, etc. do not change with time, right? So, all these measurable properties do not change with time. That state is called as equilibrium. We already done that in the previous chapter called as chemical equilibrium. But now, I am going to associate this word equilibrium with the previous term that is ionic. Now, joining these two, what is the meaning that comes out of it? Let's have a look at the definition of ionic equilibrium. It is an equilibrium which is established between the unionized molecules and ions in a solution of weak electrolyte. I repeat, it is an equilibrium which is established between the unionized molecules and the ions in a solution of weak electrolyte. Not clear? Let's have a deeper look into the statements. Now, there is one term, weak electrolyte over there, yeah, in the definition of ionic equilibrium. So, what we do now is to get a complete understanding of this definition, let us start our discussion with the term electrolyte first, okay? So, we start with what is electrolyte. So, I take an example, example as NaCl in solid form. So, here we have a vessel, right? And in that vessel, we have taken NaCl in the solid form. We supply heat. The moment you start heating it, the NaCl starts melting. And what we have now is molten NaCl, okay? That's molten NaCl obtained by melting NaCl solid. In the other vessel, I have taken aqueous NaCl, that is NaCl dissolved in water. Now, in both these vessels, I am going to dip this two electrodes which are connected to a source okay, of electricity. Now, when electricity is passed through NaCl in the molten or the aqueous form, if you are passing electricity through NaCl in the molten and the aqueous form, in both of them, the solution starts conducting electricity. Okay? So, we can call NaCl as electrolyte. That is what is an electrolyte. A substance in the molten or in the aqueous form becomes a conductor of electricity, that is electrolyte. On the other hand, if you look at these examples on your screen, that's sugar, benzene and urea. Now, if I take the aqueous solution of these substances, you'll notice that on trying to pass electricity in the aqueous solution of these substances, the solutions do not conduct electricity. These substances are called as non-electrolyte. Well, the previous was electrolyte and this is non-electrolyte. I am sure you got all the examples very clear. So, let us have a look at the definition of what is an electrolyte and what is a non-electrolyte. Starting with the very first one, definition of electrolytes. I am sure you already know this now. Substances which conduct electricity in their molten state or in the form of their aqueous solutions are called as electrolytes. And let's have a look at the definition of non-electrolytes. Substances which do not conduct electricity in their molten state 
or in the form of their aqueous solutions are called as non-electrolytes. Let's have a repetition of these two definitions, okay? Starting with electrolytes, once again, substances which conduct electricity in their molten state or in the form of their aqueous solutions are called electrolytes and substances which do not conduct electricity in their molten state or in the form of their aqueous solutions are called as non-electrolytes. And we already discussed examples for both of them, right? And I'm sure all of you have got a very clear understanding of what is electrolyte and what is non-electrolyte. Let's go into the deeper understanding of the definition of ionic equilibrium in the next module. So for this module, we are discussing what is electrolyte and what is non-electrolyte. I am sure you are very clear with these two terms, right? Thank you very much.